Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to walk through creating a new client SSL profile, assigning it to a virtual server, and we're also going to look at some of the ciphers, the ciphers supported when using a cipher string provided by F5 in the Military Unique Deployment Guide. So, what do we mean by a client SSL profile? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at a just a a random virtual server on the Big IP. And we're going to scroll down until we see SSL profile. So you notice in this virtual virtual server, we support, we're supporting uh, SSL or 443. And you'll notice in order to do that on the client side and determine what protocols and ciphers are supported, we have a client SSL profile sign. This is just a default client SSL profile. And we're actually going to use this as a parent for the new profile we're going to create. So now let's go ahead and go back to local traffic, profiles, SSL, client. And we're going to go ahead and create one. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a name. We're going to go ahead and scroll down until we see the ciphers options here. Then we're going to go ahead and select the custom option here. And we're going to go ahead and define a cipher string, again, that is used for a, that's used within our military unique deployment guide for F5. And now that we have that cipher string, we're not actually going to get into a ton of these and what actual ciphers are used for and what different protocols. But just as a high level, you notice we have a high string here. And F5 has default cipher strings. And we have support articles that allow you to, to view exactly what, the, what are included in those. And we're actually going to look at this through Bash here shortly anyway. Then you also notice that we, do, we are not going to support RSA here. We're not going to support DES. No TLS v1, no SSL v3, no ECDHE with RSA, with AES 256, and so on. And now that we've actually defined that and gone over it from a high level, let's go ahead and scroll down and we'll go ahead and click finished. And now that we actually have that created, let's go ahead and assign it to that virtual server that we looked at previously. Scroll down until we come to SSO profile client. Select client SSO from the selected option. Move it over to the available field. Demo SSL client, move it to the selected field. We'll click update. And now any future SS or any future client connections to this particular virtual server will use those ciphers and cipher uh, those protocols defined within the virtual server we created. So now let's go ahead and go over to Bash and let's take a look at those protocols and cipher suites that are supported. You notice here we typed in TMM dash dash client ciphers and the cipher string we defined within the client SSL profile. Here you'll notice this is a complete list of all the cipher suites supported along with the protocol supported. I know this is very high level, but I did want to walk you all through configuring this client SSL profile, it is very, it seems to be a very unfamiliar process for many of you. I hope this was beneficial to somebody. Until next time.